the streets uh you always had someone's big brother or someone from a different high school coming to you know like chase after the little the little crews that were you know uh in, in the schools and stuff but yeah i mean shit it, it was an everyday thing like there's it, it can we can talk about this at all all day you know fucking there was a lot going cracking on that day usually when things like that happen uh young guys join another gang for protection how did you manage to stay out of uh the gang life or do you dabble in it for protection to be honest with you my mindset was uh, in a whole different in a whole different genre you know i mean don't get it twisted you know a lot of the people that i was uh associated with they were from you know gangs and shit like that but i was always on the artistic side the thing is that i didn't know what graffiti was you know yeah, until terminologies kick in and you start understanding uh start defining what certain things are you know to me i thought graffiti was one of like the coolest things ever i thought it was art at first you know little do i know it's fucking graffiti and it's the most illegal thing as well you know and then i see over here gang members also you know writing on walls i thought it was the same fucking shit you know i was just a fish in a fucking small pond little do i know it's a fucking big ocean out there you know and um yeah i think uh since man i was little man i've always been you know drawing or doing something creative and i think that's also something that uh i think a lot of people have noticed from me and uh has kind of kept me away from you know danger do you show any artistic talent as a young kid and at what age do you start showing it when people start to see your talent so it's been a everyday uh thing since i was young you know i always loved the coloring books fucking i was always drawing on everything bro i had no idea what art was it was just one of those things that you know it's just i think every individual has that spark within them you know and um I think the minute, let's just say we separated art from graffiti, you know, because I thought graffiti was art. And one day I was in elementary. The, st uh, the stepfather I had at the time, I guess he was associated with uh, graffiti. One day, you know, those uh, notebooks, the ones with the little clear, th clear patch, you know, you could stick a paper in. He drew my name. I was mind blown due to the fact, you know, since, you know, you're in kindergarten or preschool, they teach you how to write your name, you know, and handwriting or, you know, basic style. So to me, that is just like, whoa, what the fuck? So I take that shit to school. Now everybody's fucking mind blown. And now everyone's asking me because, you know, I'm not going to lie. I fronted. I, th I said I did it. Now everyone's asking me, hey, can you draw my name? And it kind of just went from there, you know, and I had no idea what I was doing. But it was like around, yeah, third grade that, you know, I've been intrigued by letters. Can't say the graffiti culture because I didn't know what that was till like ending of middle school. It was just something, I guess I was into typography, you get me? So. Your stepdad introduces you to letters, but in your family does anyone else have a background in art or have any talent as you do not that i know of um nah, I, I mean I, I can't really sit here and say someone else is into let's say artistic with paintings but i can definitely say there's definitely different uh creative uh venues that other people are intrigued with within the family that I don't even think they understand that it's also as creative as what I am doing as well. Now, your stepfather introduces you to letters, but do you recall when graffiti first enters your consciousness and you see it on the streets? Do you remember who you're with and where you're at? <laughs> Bro, there was no way to dodge graffiti. I could always remember driving up the 101 you know from the 170 down to fucking uh the 110 you know and um 
after, I mean, to be honest, I think that was like literally the first time that my stepfather, when he drew my name, that was the first time I seen graffiti. But then the next time I seen it, and this is when I kind of really knew it was uh, illegal or just wasn't something that, you know, wasn't um, appropriate or kind of open to society. It was when they came and vandalized the school because it actually came out on the news. And the thing was that every kid in that school, due to the fact that my, you know, booklet had a, my name on it, I was like, hey, yo, come check this out. What does it say? You know, because no one can read that. And I'm over here throwing out names, you know, think, acting like the cool kid. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it says this right here, you know. But that was my first interaction right there.